Hello, this is Apple iOS Genius, and today we're going to go through a tutorial on how to migrate your email from Outlook on a Mac to Gmail. And I am currently running on Mavericks 10.9.3 with Office 2011 of Office, along with uh, Gmail, which is done through Google Chrome or any other browser, but primarily Google Chrome. I will also show you, uh, there will be a separate video on top of this that will reference and how to migrate to Gmail through a software driven way. Then as well as this is software as well, but you can customize your settings and your folders and so forth that you would like to transfer over. So let's get started. So right here we are at the YouTube channel of your line. It's called user at I Apple iOS Genius. I have plenty of videos up here related to school and so forth uh, or even for enterprise companies that need to know how to do certain things with their computers or their Macs and reference of software applications out there that are very usable. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Here we are Microsoft Outlook. These are of course my current folders that are already on here. This is what I have currently on my computer which is nothing uh, but I'm going to show you how to drag from your current network folder to your location of on my computer or you can drag it directly from your inbox to your Gmail account. So to do that you will go to your Outlook, you go to your preferences, select on accounts, once in accounts, these are my current accounts in my Outlook that I use on a daily basis. Now if I wanted to move one of these I would just easily go ahead and add another account which is going to be my Gmail account. Down here in the bottom left you want to select on add an account. When you select on email you're going to go ahead and put in the email that you are using with your Google account that you would like to transfer from your Outlook to your Google and to do that I will just go ahead and type in my email that I use with Google with gmail.com some individuals, it's not gmail.com if it's a school affiliation, a charter, CPS, private schools. Their email system may use Google, and if they do, it won't be Gmail. It would be uh, their name, possibly, at and that institution.com, or that school name will just say charter.com, or however it's stated for their email. So you want to go ahead and enter your current password for that. And if you do not know that, feel free to reach out to your system administrator so they can go ahead and reset that for you. So you want to go ahead and select Add Account. Now, when to add the account, normally this fills in automatically with Office 2011. If it does not, the simple information that you need to remember and remind yourself is that here for the server information, you want to make sure it's your full email address for gmail.com. You want to make sure it's the current password that's just much as you log in on Gmail uh, as well as through Google Chrome. And your incoming server must be listed as applied as an imap.gmail.com. And what you want to do by default, it should self-populate to 993, which is the port that communicates to the Gmail that we can be able to receive or even also send out emails and here's a different port here is 465 you want to make sure it's 993 if it is not you want to select on override default port which is right down here and then once you check mark that you'll be able to actually now select it erase it put any other number or letters but normally it's always numbers so you want to just leave it as 993 you can leave it as override default unless it's not listed as 993 then you want to make sure on uh, always use secure password. You don't really need to use that because your computer is already secured and you're using it with your network password or your local password to log in. You want to always make sure you have use SSL to connect, which is recommended. Uh, and then on the outgoing server, you want to make sure it's listed as smtp.gmail.com with, of course, the port of 465, which communicates to their server uh, that we are okay to send from our Outlook or any other mail client software and 465 works well with them. And again, right down below you want to select on override default. If it's not listed as 465, it's listed with 23 or some other number. 
uh, use SSL to connect, which again listed above here, you want to make sure that is selected as well as outgoing is selected for incoming and outgoing. Now, if you did actually technically send emails through Gmail through your Outlook account and you are not using the web browser of Gmail, uh, then you would want to go ahead and select down here where it says more options and you want to select on and you want to change the authentication to from use incoming server information to username and password. This is where you want to go ahead and type in your email. So my email here is appleiosgenius at gmail.com or whatever the, the domain may be for your charter or your private school uh, dot com. If you do not know this information, feel free to reach out to your system administrator so they'll be able to help you on this process. And then you want to go ahead and enter your current password, which I've already put in my password. Here is listed as unqualified domain. You can completely ignore that. There's no really need to touch that. You want to go ahead and select on OK. Once you've done this, your email uh, will be incoming and outgoing, ready to available on your Outlook. So you want to go ahead and close this window. And then, as you can see, right now I have a Gmail account here listed with a little arrow here and there's an untitled folder in my inbox of Gmail. These are my emails from our network server through school so we're just going to go ahead and select on help desk here because I'm not going to really show you all the other emails that I received. So from here this point you want to go ahead and then go down to uh, your Google Chrome. That, that's how to migrate using a Mac. Uh, I will show you that in a momentarily at the end of this video. Actually, I don't know where it is. Let's see. Let's just go to Gmail. Load in my email. Here I have about 25 pages here. It's listed up here in the corner. Uh, 1 to 25 pages of emails. Constant emails. So basically what we're going to do is that we're gonna, I'm going to show you that your email is actually being folders are actually being transferred over. So here is Gmail. You want to select on Gmail and as you expand this you have All Mail Archive 2013, Archive 2014. So here I'm going to go back to Google and we're going to go ahead and look at those folders. Again I have so many email websites. Here we go. So here's a, here you can see where it says Gmail Archive 2013 Gmail Archive 2014. Now initially what you were able to do in the past until uh, Outlook changed some updates on their office suite was that technically you would be able to go to whatever the specific folder is, perform a right click, select copy, and then look for the folder that you want to send the destination to. So here I'm doing Gmail, doesn't pull it up. Uh, it's called Archive it doesn't pull it up. Even though if I spell it all completely, it still doesn't pull it up. So what I found is you can do in two ways. One, here's the folder specifically. You can drag the folder that you want to copy, put it onto your local computer hard drive, which is here is listed as on my computer. Uh, and then once this is copied over, uh, this is locally on your computer there's still a copy on the server uh, just so you don't delete it by accident or so forth and what you you can do you can try an attempt and which I don't think this is gonna work but we're gonna take it off my computer and we're gonna go to Gmail as you can see it does not work it does not allow you to drag and drop it over it does to your other email clients that you may have on your Mac but that's it so the way to do it is that you would have to go into the longer process as in you would have to go ahead and create a new email account, a new folder. So you would create a new folder and here I already created a folder, Archive 2013, Archive 2014. You can do and create the email in Outlook and it will actually synchronize over to your Google Chrome account. So let's just go ahead and create a new one. and. Um, it does take a few moments because it's communicating with the Gmail server account. Uh, and then once it's done, as you can see, it creates an untitled folder here. 
And then, of course, editing it, it keeps communicating back and forth to Gmail. So this will take a moment. Here we go. So we're just going to call this, uh, we'll, we'll call it SpiceWorks, just like the folder that's listed above. Okay, so you basically have to create your folders. So now we're going to go to Gmail that's up here. Oops, wrong one. Go here. Here's a 2013, 2014. With the one we're looking for, it's going to be called SpiceWorks. So we're going to need to go ahead and refresh, which it might be synced over already, but there it is. So where it says Gmail, and now it says Spy SpiceWorks is what the folder you created in Outlook is now created here. If you created a folder in Gmail, it will do the same thing to Outlook and it'll uh, replicate it on over. So, and getting forward is that you want to go to that specific folder. You can either do it to the folder that's listed on, on my computer, or you can do the folder through your actual network folder, whichever is easiest for you. Now, this will take time depending on how many emails you're actually transferring. Here, I am just only transferring, what, five, four, five, six? So, five, I'm actually, five emails. If you're tra trying to transfer over here, which is 445, or there actually might be more, there may be thousands in there, it's just 445 is unread. So what you would want to do is that you want to go ahead and go to your email folder, the one selected you want to copy over of all the emails, highlight all the emails that you can, or little by little, or the important ones that you just want to have copied over to Gmail. Once you highlight it, just go ahead and drag it over. And now, as you can see, you can be able to select any of the folders you want. You can cannot select the actual mail client that you have installed onto an exchange, whereas earlier you can do an exchange to an exchange, but you can not do it to a Gmail. So if you select the specific emails, you can go to the specific folder. So we're just going to go ahead and send it to the folder here, which is called SpiceWorks. We're going to go ahead and let go. And then in a moment, as you can see down here, it actually shows updating messages to server. And then if you go to your Google Chrome, as you can see, that looks like it's already done. So if I go to Google Chrome here, select on SpiceWorks, there's the emails that I've actually just transferred over. Now it shows as deleted items is because it is listed as the deleted items, depending on how you have it set up in Google for it to delete certain emails in a certain time frame or very old emails. And as most of these are uh, fairly new, so we can go back to Outlook. You can see it's May 12, 14, 2014, and so forth. So it's just a filter that you need to change in Gmail. So that's basically how to transfer email to a specific folder that you may have created either in your Outlook for the Gmail account specifically or on your Gmail itself.